Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about Analyze GR and R study using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. If there are errors in our measurement system we will be making decisions based on incorrect data. We could be making incorrect decisions or producing non-conforming parts. Process owners should ask themselves the following questions to better understand the capability of the measurement system. Is the measurement system capturing the correct data? How big is the measurement error? Can we detect process changes when they occur? What are the sources of measurement error, such as inspectors, gauges? Is the measurement system stable over time? Measurement system errors. Measurement system errors can be classified into two categories. Accuracy and precision. Accuracy is the closeness of agreement to the true value or to an accepted reference value. Precision is the closeness of repeated readings for each other. Precision is independent of accuracy. That means it is possible to be very precise but not very accurate, and it is also possible to be accurate without being precise. The best quality scientific observations are both accurate and precise. How to perform GR and R. 1. Obtain a sample of n greater than equals 10 parts that represent the actual or expected range of process variation. 2. Refer to the appraisers as A, B, C, etc. And number the parts 1 through n so that the numbers are not visible to the appraisers. 3. Calibrate the gauge if this is part of the normal measurement system procedures. Let appraiser A measure n parts in a random order. 4. Let appraisers B and C measure the same n parts without seeing each other's readings. 5. If n trials are needed such as 3 trials, repeat the cycle using a different random order of measurement for each operator. For example, the engineer performs gauge R and R for one fixture. 10 parts are selected randomly from production. Two operators measured the 10 parts with 3 times per part in random order. The upper spec limit, USL is 11 while lower spec limit, LSL is 8. Next, I am going to show you the steps of PERFORM's GR and R study using Minitab software. What are crossed and nested factors? Two factors are crossed when each level of one factor occurs in combination with each level of the other factor. For example, if you use crossed factors in your study, the same three operators would inspect surface finish from both machines. Two factors are nested when the levels of one factor are similar but not identical, and each occurs in combination with different levels of another factor. Choose STAT, Quality Tools, Gauge Study, Gauge R and R Study, Crossed. Complete the following steps to specify the data for your graph. In part numbers, enter part. In operator, enter operator. In measurement data, select voltage. Click options. In lower spec, enter 8. In upper spec, enter 11. You can analyze the gauge R and R study using one of the following analysis techniques, average and range method and ANOVA. What is the difference between two methods? For ANOVA method, this method provides an additional test for the interaction between the operators and the parts other than operator main effect. However, for XBAR R method or average and range method, no interaction study between the operators and the parts. This page shows gauge R and R report for voltage. Minitab uses the analysis of variance ANOVA procedure to calculate variance components and then uses those components to estimate the percent variation due to the measuring system. The two-way ANOVA table includes terms for the part, operator, and operator by part interaction. If the p-value for the operator by part interaction is as greater than or equal to 0.05, Minitab generates a second ANOVA table that omits the interaction term from the model. Percent contribution. Use variance components to assess the amount of total gauge R and R and part-to-part -part variation contribute to the total variation. Percent study variation. Use percent study variation to compare the measurement system variation to the total variation. 
Percent tolerance. Comparing the measurement system variation with the tolerance. NDC. To identify a measurement system's ability to detect a difference in the measured characteristic. Percent contribution. Use variance components to assess the amount of measurement system variation total gauge R and R and part to part variation contribute to the total variation. Total process variation is broken into two sources, part to part variation and measurement system variation. Measurement system variation consists of variation due to operator, or reproducibility and variation due to gauge, or repeatability. Total gauge R and R consists of repeatability is the variability from repeated measurements by the same operator. Reproducibility is the variability when the same part is measured by different operators. This can be further divided into operator and operator by part components. Percent contribution. Percent contribution is based on the estimates of the variance components. The percent contribution for total gauge R and R is 16.67% which is greater than 9%. Based on AIAG guidelines, if the percent of contribution is less than 9%, the measurement system is acceptable. If the percent of contribution is between 1% to 9%, the measurement system is acceptable depending on the application, the cost of the measurement device, cost of repair, or other factors. If the percent of contribution is greater than 9%, the measurement system is not acceptable and should be improved. Percent study variation. Use percent study variation to compare the measurement system variation to the total variation. The percent study variation for total gauge R and R is 28.91% which is less than 30%. Based on AIAG guideline, if the percent of study variation is less than 10%, the measurement system is acceptable. If the percent of study variation is between 10% to 30%, the measurement system is acceptable depending on the application, the cost of the measurement device, cost of repair, or other factors. If the percent of study variation is greater than 30%, the measurement system is not acceptable and should be improved. However, the assumption for both percent contribution and percent study variation is the sample parts must be selected from the process and represent the entire production operating range. If the samples do not represent the entire production operating range, the percent study variation and percent contribution must be ignored in the assessment. Percent tolerance. Use percent tolerance to compare the measurement system variation with the tolerance. The percent tolerance for total gauge R and R is 60.03% which is greater than 30%. The measurement system is not acceptable for product control. If you enter tolerance, Minitab calculates percent tolerance. Upper spec equals 11. Lower spec equals 8. Tolerance equals upper spec minus lower spec equals 11 minus 8 equals 3. Percent tolerance equals total GR and R divided by tolerance which is 60.03%. The percent tolerance is the percentage of the tolerance taken up by the measurement system variability. Number of distinct categories. The number of distinct categories, NDC is a metric that is used to identify a measurement system's ability to detect a difference in the measured characteristic. NDC is the ratio of the variability in the measured parts and the variability in the measurement system. The AIAG recommends that the number of distinct categories be 5 or more. The NDC is 3, which indicates the system can distinguish between parts as unacceptable. If NDC is equal to 1, it is unacceptable for estimating process parameters and indices. The measurement system is of no value for controlling the process. Because it cannot distinguish between parts. If NDC is between 2 and 4, it is unacceptable as well. When the number of distinct categories is 2, you can split the parts into only two groups, such as high and low. When the number of distinct categories is 3, you can split the parts into three groups, such as low, middle, and high. NDC equal to or more than 5 is highly recommended. 
In the components of variation graph, the percent contribution from part to part is larger than that of total gauge R and R, telling the largest component of variation is due to part to part variation. The R chart is a control chart of ranges that graphically displays operator consistency. If any points on the R chart fall above the upper control limit, UCL, the operator is not consistently measuring the parts. The operator 2 is not consistently measuring part number 6 due to the point being out of control limit. The X bar chart compares the part to part variation to the repeatability component. Because the parts chosen for a gauge R and R study should represent the entire range of possible parts, this graph ideally shows lack of control. Ideally, the graph has narrow control limits with many out-of-control points that indicate a measurement system with low variation. Measurement by part. Multiple measurements for each part show some variation, the empty circles for each part are not close together. The operators apparently had difficulty measuring parts precisely. Measurement by operator. The by operator plot can help you to determine whether measurements and variability are consistent across operators. Here, the operators appear to be measuring the parts not consistently due to the line not parallel. On average, measurement by operator 1 is slightly lower than operator 2. Operator by part interaction. The interaction plot displays the average measurements by each operator for each part. The lines are not parallel. An operator's ability to measure a part depends on which part is being measured. An interaction exists between operator and part. The page summarizes the decision rule for percent contribution, percent study, variation, percent tolerance, percent process and NDC which are explained early. In summary, precision is the closeness of repeated readings for each other. The measurement system for assessing voltage should be improved. Engineers should investigate why operators seem to have difficulty measuring certain parts consistently. Overview of MSA. MSA assesses whether the gauge is capable in terms of precision and accuracy. The accuracy of a measurement system has three components, bias, linearity and stability. Precision, or measurement variation, has two components, repeatability and reproducibility. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.